You know what they say, girl? As one person once said, the sun never sets on an all-star. <laughs> and whoever says that also believes that the earth is flat because you know, the earth rotates so there is a sunset, you know, WTF. That's right, honey, it's time to get sickening with the sunset. Bootleg opinions. Laganja, did you know that because of where you live, certain TV shows, movies, and streaming contents aren't available to you just because you live where you live? Really? What? Yup, but with Surfshock, that can all change with a click of a button. Surfshock? What's that? Well, Surfshock, it is an award-winning VPN, a virtual private network that allows you to change your location. So let's say we're in the USA right now, but we can click our button and still be in the UK. Oh my God, mama, that's amazing. And that's not all, baby. It is safe to use even with public Wi-Fi. Plus, with one subscription, you and your friends can use it in multiple rooms on multiple devices. Come on, different devices. Girl, I'm signing up right now. And you should, baby. And whoever's watching, you should give it a try. And plus, you can try Surfshark for three months free and 83% off your whole subscription on me and Surfshark. Oh my gosh, it also says there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. Duh! So sign up for all the contents that you deserve, baby. Are you ready to get bootleg for the All-Star Six Queens, baby? Baby, am I ever. Let's do it. And it's surprise, surprise, surprise. We have three bootleg queens that are on All-Star Six today. We have Jake Lee Caliente, we have Kylie Sonique Love, and we also have Trinity K. Bonet, who were once bootleg queens, and now they've graduated onto All-Stars. Do you think I'll ever graduate, Mama? Yes! Well <laughs> Yes, I will write you a recommendation letter to you to World of Wonder because you know, World of Wonder is actually a sub-department of bootleg opinions. We own them. Absolutely. Category for these homo looks is Tina Burner. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody stood out to you? Oh my gosh, I have to say overall, I thought they all looked really amazing. I was so excited and I thought each queen really brought their own personal style to the look. And it's so good to see a lot of these queens because a lot of these queens were on the earlier seasons of Drag Race that now a lot of these new fans are meeting them for the first time. So some of them is their second and sometimes it's their third, but most of these fans are seeing them for the first time ever. So as you know, me and you both are very huge Drag Race fans and I cannot wait to see how these queens have grown up, developed and progressed as a queen and as a person throughout these years. Yes, I love that they threw it back to some of the OG seasons because I have been watching since season one. And I also love that we have more trans representation on this season. Yes, queens. Yay! Diversity, honey, diversity. We stand and I think representation is so important because when you don't see yourself on television, you think to yourself, am I worthy? Am I important? Do I fit into this world? Because I remember not seeing enough queer Asian Americans that I thought that I wasn't enough. And it wasn't until I saw Juju B, Angina, Manila Luzon, and Jiggly Caliente that I thought to myself, wow, I am special. I fit into this world. Well, and moreover, as gay people, we wouldn't even have rights if it wasn't for our trans brothers and sisters, specifically those of color. So again, to see someone like Jiggly Caliente and to see Kylie Sonique Love up on the stage, it makes me really excited. So there are 13 queens on this season. Lucky 13, are you ready to get these opinions out, baby? Oh, baby, am I ever. Let's dive right in. Because if it's set on bootleg, it means it's official. So we first have Akira Davenport. So not to be confused with Akira Chanel Davenport. Not to be confused with a carry a Chanel back. So I love this look on her. And we obviously have found the body. I love the big shoulders. It's almost like a fan, like fanning out on her. And she's got this huge hair. It's not just a cast suit. We see the designs of how the crystals are sprinkled out onto her body. But the only thing I want to say is that I wish that the train that she has in the back would touch the floor. That's my only little nippy picky thing. And of course, if you're not going back onto All Stars with a new set of teeth, are you really going back onto All Stars? And we love the new set of grill on her. She was also the underdog of season 11 and also the front runner of season 11. So I'm excited to see her back running through this competition and slaying it. She is definitely serving you the body. I agree, sister. I am loving that Miss Akira is relying on that body because baby, she can back it up. I love 
love the 3D letters that are over her chest. It's giving me very Moschino vibe. I really love the 3D-ness of all of that. I also have to agree that I love how the cat suit is well designed and I love the reflective mirrors that are on the outfit scattered about in perfect little line patterns. I agreed, I wish touched the floor, but I love how she brought the sunset theme into the outer piece. And again, the makeup, the hair, the glasses, mwah, it is a drag look and I'm here for it. She's serving you VMA slash red carpet slash drag race, girl. Next up, you found it, is Eureka O'Hara from season nine, season 10, Hollis Slay. Um, she's on a lot of seasons. And also, she is serving you sunset cotton candy. I love the ruffles that is throughout the entire body, and I can tell that this is something definitely Rosé would wear because, you know, she loves the ruffles on her body, and I think this is great. And I also love that the boots are also into the fabric as well, so it's one cohesive bodysuit. I like how the nude fabric carves out her body on the sides, on the legs, and also the V-shape. And I also like that she added the pink and the yellow and the orange throughout the hair and also gradients on the ruffles as well. So we see like a pattern, almost like this, dragging out. You know what I mean? Well, I love Eureka's silhouette. It kind of reminds me of a curious silhouette with a bodysuit and a big adornment on the back. I also love how Miss Eureka is stamped for filth, baby. That makeup is on point and I love the huge, huge hair. Now, as far as the outfit goes, it is kind of simple, but I am vibing off of it. I love that she's showing off her body and I agree, the way she kept her boot a part of the cat suit really elongates her line. Elongates? Longates. I think it's Longates. Seglete. Longates the line. Um, and I really like the color choice. I think the soft pink cotton candy vibe is a little unusual choice for a classic sunset. So I think that helps her stick out. We found her, Eureka. And baby, Miss Eureka is drag, larger than life and giving us the body. Next up is Ginger Minch from season seven in All Stars 2. And she declares herself as the glamorous toad. Fun fact, I'm actually three and a fourth quarter taller than Ginger Mitch because she's five foot three and I am five foot three and three quarters. Well, look at that. No one's counting, eh? <laughs> what do you think of this look, my dear? Well, it's definitely giving me glamour toad, you know? It's giving me the scales, it's giving me the spots, sort of like a toad, but it's also giving me that glamour because it's made of ostrich feathers and sequins. I really love the hair. I think it is quafted to perfection, and I love that she sticks to her brand. But do you like it? It's not my favorite <laughs> look, but I don't hate it. <laughs> you see, this is the content as a producer that I need, okay, Laganja? I need you to tell me that if you like it or not. I just don't really understand, I guess. Yeah, I just don't really understand. It really is kind of giving me Toad-esque sea urchin, you know? what? That's her brand, so I guess that's why she was going with it. It's just not something that I think is the most flattering per se. I think that she has too many things going on. We see the feathers and then we see the sheer in the back that didn't really make sense. I think they would have looked great as two separate looks. I think with two things going on, it just seemed like it's too much. Yeah, I have to agree. I think it is just too many ideas in one garment, but I do think she is giving you drag and I really like that aspect of the outfit. I know, I especially love her Meet the Queens when she talked about like how All Stars 2 wasn't in her hands and I love hearing her story about how she came onto Drag Race to sing, that fashion wasn't really a thing that she thought about mostly, but now coming it back onto All Star 6, she is ready to slay with the fashion. And she says she's excited to show it, and I am excited to see it as well. And I love how she's showing us some leg, honey, legs overhead like a pretzel. Oh, grrr. Ja mama, ja mama, ja mama. She's mint, she's green, she's mean. She's dry. Bringing up next to the All Stars sixening stage is Miss Jan. And honey, she is rising like the phoenix she is. This look is over for me. I am obsessed with all of these flames, the iridescent color palette, the way it is perfectly laser cut and fitting on her body. I think she looks amazing. This was actually made by one of the Thailand girls from Drag Race and her name is Bunny. 
but I do think that the piece that she has in the center will come down just a little bit so that we see a little bit more of her neck. But I do like that the hair is pulled back so we see the silhouettes of the back and the front and I like the purple just kind of creating like a V shape for her body. I love this color. It is shiny. We see the pink iridescent colors, the purple, the orange, the gold, and we also see it in the wrist as well. And the matching knee brace. So again, my only thing is that I wish I see a little bit more of her neck so that it comes down just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, I can absolutely see that critique. I would like a little bit more of her degligeté. Oh, you nailed it, degligeté. I didn't nail it. It's so funny, every time we finish filming these videos, I'm like, oh, that's how you say it. I just can never say it when we're on camera together. Degligeté. Degligeté. <laughs> yeah, so Jan, you can. We stand. <laughs> Next up is Jiggly Caliente from season four and also post and also bootleg opinions. Welcome to stage is your Filipina goddess, Jiggly Caliente. I love that she's showing her heritage because the shoulder piece is very traditional. And I also love the sheer fabric she has in the back. It's very flowy, very airy, and we got the nice fabric on her. And plus, this is not stretch fabric, so you know that this is made specifically for her body because this fabric just does not give. And I love how the bottom is with the applique of the sequin, almost like a fire, honey. And the mug, baby, talk about a glow up, honey. Mama, Miss Jiggly did it for me. She is fully glowing in this look. I mean, I don't want to stare at her too hard because it's like the sun. If you stare at it too long, you're going to lose your eyesight, girl. She is giving me everything I need. I agree with everything you said. The material, Silk Dupani. Very expensive, very hard to work with, and the way it is fitting her body looks incredible, especially with the draping on the side. I love the sequin adornment coming up the side of her body, the sheer fabric in the back, the beautiful blonde hair, the perfectly stamped mug. Miss Jiggly is out for blood, and I am here for it, honey. It's blood orange, and <laughs> let's serve me up a glass. Ooh, blood orange from Project Runway. <laughs> don't make me go Santino on you, girl. <laughs> oh, you don't have to. He's not available anymore. Um, uh, may we call her Jag... J Jagly. May we call you Jiggly? Did you ever see that interview on RuPaul on Hey Queen when she was talking about Jiggly, where she was hoping Jiggly would say the thing that she wanted? May we call you Jiggly? But she said that, oh, but instead of her responding, all she ever did was suck on the lollipop. Leave it to RuPaul, honey. Always spilling the tea. You didn't see it, girl. Nope. It's okay. <laughs> nope. Next, Next up, up to the Kylie. stage. Next up to the stage, we have the gorgeous and ever so stunning Kylie Sonique Love. She is serving you the body, baby. I think that without the fur, it would have been kind of simple, but I think the fur helped elevate the look a little bit and it showed herself. This is who she is and I enjoy it. Which is a showgirl, Vegas, body, sexy, and glamour. So this is sticking to who she is. So I don't mind that this is a little bit simple. You know, it's just the top and the bottom. The fur helped elevate the look. I agree 100%. I was a little underwhelmed. I wanted her to give us a little bit more. However, I love that she stuck to who she is. This is definitely something I could see Kylie Sonique love any night of the week. And I love that she's just being true to her beautiful body, you know? Sometimes you don't need to cover it up with a bunch of adornments. You just need to let the kids have it. And she did. Now, I love how the hair is dip dyed and I absolutely love the fur accessory. And I really think overall, it is a strong look. When you look at the lineup, she stands out because she is so gorgeous. Next up is Pandora Box, honey, and she is out of the box, baby. She is from season... What season is she on? <laughs> She's in two. And she is from season... <laughs> It's so long ago. And she is from season two and All Stars 1, baby. Come on, be me, change it around. Change your costume, change it around. Well, I'm gonna be honest, Pandora's fashions have never really been my particular favorite. They're not really my style. However, 
I want to say that I absolutely think Pandora has stepped up tremendously. I actually was recently watching the older seasons and seeing, you know, all my sisters now that I know them, which was so fun and crazy. But I remember looking at Pandora's fashion and being like, oh my gosh, like Santino Rice really let her have it. So I was interested to see how she's really going to bring it on this all-star season. And I think with this look, it's clear she's going to bring the drama. So again, it may not be my personal style. It may not be something that I would wear, but I think it's really good drag. I think her makeup looked incredible. Her hair was so beautiful. The silhouette is giving her body yaddy yaddy, and she definitely hit the sunset mark. Yeah, I agree with you. Her fashion has changed a lot and it has stepped up because if we were to compare season two and All Stars one, this is something that she probably wouldn't wear. So this is something she has developed and has grown as a queen. The the only thing I would say is that maybe push the hair to the back so that it doesn't overlap the front. I love the ruffles. It is full. It's like this. Bam out. And the lining is cool as well. The jewelries are great. The muck is great. The little swirl in front of the hair is great as well. She looks beautiful in this. Yeah, I agree. I love that you pointed out that inner lining, a queen who pays attention to the details like that, because guess what, mama? Your lining is going to show at some point. So please line it with another fabric. Make sure that that detail is covered. And Pandora clearly has checked off all those marks. In this house, we stand lining, but just don't do your lines. And again, I just really like that she stepped it up here. I mean, she really has gone out of her comfort zone and is giving us full drag fantasy. And I love it. Next up is Raja O'Hara from season 11, Booty Ho. I love these colors on her. This is quintessential Raja because she loves purple and she's sticking to who she is. I love the hair. I love the cutout of the star in front of her. I love the huge rope. I mean, it just looks regal. It looks grand. It looks beautiful. And I love that she added horse hair to, well, maybe not her, her designer, add a horse hair to the bottom of the robe and it's touching the floor. And I love that the shoes is matching the rest of this outfit. I see the stars throughout the body, but with the main dramatic big star in the center. I love this look. I think she looks absolutely fabulous. And I love that she stuck to two different contrasting colors. I think yellow and purple are really beautiful together and not necessarily something I would think to do myself. I love the star cutouts as well in the center of the outfit that continue on. I love the little yellow booty as I'm a booty witch and I get down with a booty. I can always throw it and kick it and bucket and twirl it and turn it when I got a boot on. And I really, really love how the purple hair is kind of multi-dimensional. So even though she gave us those two simple colors, she allowed the hair to be a little bit more playful and creative. I think her body looks so snatched, so beautiful, and I really think this queen nailed it all these queens so far are looking glamorous. Am I wrong? Yes, girl. They're looking g -g 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 gorgeous and glam. So I'm always excited for All Stars because the runways, baby. These queens come back with money, development, and they experience the world just a little bit more than they had before. And they're always friends to the runway. So I'm always excited for All Stars. Me too, sis. Next up is Scarlet Envy. Woo! The hair is dramatic, the hair is big, the rope is touching the floor, she is giving you body, she's giving you classic Hollywood. We see the line of the corset throughout the rest of the body. But the only thing that I want to say is that the pieces around the biceps were a little bit low, it seemed a little bit droopy. I wish that they would come up just a little bit more, just so that it shows a little bit more regal and grand to her as a queen. That's my only thing, or make it a little bit more voluminous, because I feel like with the shoulder pieces like that, it just seems like almost like a droopy rose, you know what I mean? And I want that rose to stick up. I really love Miss Scarlet. I think she always gives you that classic old Hollywood glam more. I mean, the mug. Mama, I cannot. Some of these mugs on All Stars are just letting me have it, and hers is definitely one of it. I mean, I just thought that face and the hair when they gave her her close up was just. I got gay gagged. As far as the outfit goes, it's not the most memorable for me in the lineup. So it isn't necessarily my favorite, but I don't dislike it. I do think she looks beautiful. I love that she chose the soft tones to match her soft personality, but I just wish it was a little bit more va va voom. Maybe it is those droopy sleeves, or maybe it's because we've been seeing a lot of outfits with these capes in the back, and I'm just wanting somebody to switch it up and surprise me. 
I think it's because there's not enough sparkle on this, that's why. Because this is just a solid plain light color in the front and a darker coral color in the back, that's why. We've seen a lot of cakes and we've seen a lot of bodysuits and they were all very decorative with embellishment, stones, beads and whatnot that this I guess when you see it, it's a little bit simplistic compared to the others. This is not a bad look, it's just that compared to the others, in a lineup, it's a little bit simplistic. You know what I mean? I think that's what it is. But again, I think this really matches her style and I do think she is understated. So hey, you rock it, Miss Thing. The feeling is always mutual. Next up, it's time to cha 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 with Miss Serena. And baby, she is giving you artistic hair. Talk about that wig art. I mean, Mama is known for her wig creations and I think she really wanted to prove to people, look at what I can do as an artist. Now the look, Mama, is just all over the place fabulous. I love the sequence, I love the tones, I love the gradation, I think her body looks awesome and she's definitely giving me a dramatic entrance look. She's definitely giving me a dramatic promo look. Oh, talk about a glow up, honey. She's no longer just reading books, she is also reading fashion books, honey. Everybody's serving it, even Serena Chacha. Cause you know, there's a lot on season five that says everybody's but Serena. And I love the hair, it is artistry right here. I love the beads on the biceps. I also love the feathers on the shoulders as well. I love the stoning moment and the beads and the sequin throughout the rest of the outfit as well. I think she just looks gorgeous. This is beautiful. My only thing is the hair. I wish either if it was pushed back or a shorter wig just so that it doesn't fall on the pieces with the feathers because I felt like that the feathers needs to have its own moment so that we see it and that it shows. But other than that, I think she looks gorgeous, baby. I absolutely agree with what you said about the hair. I really wish the bottom wig was just kind of like a snatchback pony because it, to me, it sort of feels like she stuck her hair art creation on top of another wig. There's not really a correlation between the two. Whereas if it had all been pulled back up, I think that would have accentuated her neckline more and we could have seen that feather detail. I also just want to say, I love all the details. I mean, the stonework, the tassels, the way it drapes on the sleeves. It's just really cool and creative. And I know I would definitely rock this piece. I mean, a pantsuit? Girl, love to dance in a pantsuit. And she's always ready to cha-cha her way onto All Stars, baby. We cannot wait to see Slay, baby. Next up is Silky Nutmeg Ganache, and she is serving you the munch munch, the crunch crunch, and always the cookies. And she is serving you body in this like a superhero warrior, baby. I think she looks gorgeous, dramatic pageant, old school hair. We see the cape and also this warrior on her. The colors with the gold, with the red. I think she is ready to all stars. And also with the boots, come on now, she looks stunned. Mama, Miss Zelda, warrior princess, better back down there's a new queen in town and silky is giving me the ganache i need that body is on display and it looks great i love the way this outfit is cutting her and giving her a sleek line i also agree the way that the boots match the outfit that's drag 101 mama if you're not making the heels to match the outfit you're not going fully full out I love the makeup and I love the hair. I really do think she looks like a warrior superstar. She is mother ready, baby. Up next, we have my season six sister, Miss Trinity K. Bonet. And honey, is she giving us that rose ruffle fantasy all the way from H to T. Now talk about this gradation. I love these colors and I love the way the corset is cinching her in, but again, we're getting all this body. Oh, a former bootleg opinions girl. I salute to you. You have graduated, Trinity. You look so beautiful. And she is one of the lip sync assassins throughout the franchise. Her hair is beautiful, gorgeous, up curls. And I agree with you, we see a lot of beautiful body throughout this rest of this outfit. We've got the ruffles at the top, we've got the ruffles at the bottom, but in the center around the waist, it is cinched in, baby. And it's giving her the beautiful waist that she deserves. And not just that, it's also embellished with stones throughout. We see the shoes, we see the leg, and we also see that the front is cut short, but in the back is going bam, all out. So we've seen the legs in this. And I think she looks gorgeous, even with the jewelry around her neck. And speaking of that jewelry, mama, that is exquisite. Okay, this is drag, baby. She's got jewels all the way down to her tetois. 
She's got huge wristbands. I love it. She wanted y'all to know I am here to play and here to slay. And the fans have been waiting for her to get into All Stars for the longest time, and she is finally here, baby. So what does she do successfully? Everything, baby. Everything. Relax, relax. <laughs> Oh, I remember that part when you were saying, I feel the red tag! And she just goes, relax, relax. Very apathetic. Relax, relax. <laughs> Deep breath. Last up is Jada Sofia. Echa palante, honey! And she was the one that called me, you whole homosexual on my season. And I <laughs> love her, baby! I love her so much. She is hilarious. And she is definitely serving you the body, even 10 years later on this look. I mean, this is... Gorgeous with the hair. It's giving me very rising Phoenix. It's giving me circus a little bit the ringmaster and she's meaning business I love the cutout around the hips ready to fight and she is here to perform. I agree I really love this look and I love that Miss Yada is back 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 again with the body to me She's one of the OG body queens. I mean this girl literally sleeps in her waist cincher at all times like maybe during COVID she gave herself a break, but let me tell you, probably not, because she knew she was going to all Stars, so she was snatched up in that corset at all times. So I think, yes, she looks great, and I love the headpiece. The headpiece is so cool and unusual, and of course, love the tall boots with the cutouts, baby. You know me, I love a good classic or boot. And if y'all enjoyed our bootleg opinions today, our Venmos and our PayPal's are in the link in the description below. And before we continue, I want to ask you, Laganja, who is your favorite look out of all these queens from the promos? This is a really tough one, sis, because there were so many good looks. So I have to go with who I was most impressed by, who glue up the most, and who really gave me a unique silhouette in the lineup. And that, for me, is... Miss Jiggly Caliente. My favorite look is Trinity K. Bonet! Congratulations to all of our bootleg opinion queens! We love you girls, you're slaying it. I cannot wait to see what you bring this season. Bring home the crown! And by home, I mean bootleg opinions. <laughs> and Laganja, where can we find you, my dear? You can find me on all social media platforms at Laganja Estranja, except for TikTok, where I am the only Laganja Estranja. And my name is Yuha Masaki. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and new on TikTok as well under Yuha Masaki. Bye, Laganja. Bye, sister. See you next time.